Don't do these things on your med school interview. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I am a dermatology resident and I give advice about the med school journey to anyone who's thinking about or currently training in medicine. I give advice based on my own life experiences. If this sounds like something you're interested, make sure to press that subscribe button now. Let's get started. What shouldn't you be doing on your med school interviews? My first tip is don't be negative about experiences. You might get questions such as, what was the worst job you've ever been on? Or what was the worst class you've ever had? You can say why something was not your favorite experience or you're not your favorite class without being negative, especially not be talking bad about a boss or classmates or coworkers. You know, don't say we, I hated my job at XYZ. Our boss was such a jerk and my co-workers and I really bonded on how much we didn't like our boss. You don't want to say something like that. My next tip is don't assume that your interviewer read your whole application. When they ask you specific questions about experiences, you say stuff that's on your application because some people, some of the interviewers go in blind without looking at your application. So don't assume that they've already read your application. Be proud to like humble brag about yourself as well as well as expand on your experiences because the application is only allows you to say but so much, but your interview time is where you're able to expand on what's in your application. This also goes into my third tip, and that is to just expand on all of your experiences in general. You can say things that are not on your application, especially if you get a question where you think an experience that's not on your application is more applicable. That's completely fine. Don't limit yourself to just what's on that application. My fourth tip is don't ever think that they're not watching. You're always being watched throughout the process. Even if you're you're at like a virtual meet and greet or like you're at an interview um, or like doing like the maybe the, the part of the interview where you're like talking to med students or even when you're like at this doing a student interview where a student is interviewing you, all those times take seriously. Don't ever assume, to, don't ever feel like you can like let your guard down. My fifth tip, don't ask inappropriate questions. Don't ask questions such as like, how much downtime do you have to party? People ask questions like this, guys. So do not ask inappropriate questions. <laughs> ask questions to learn more about the program and to get to know the program better. But cer certain things are just not appropriate to ask. And I think we all know which ones. Just don't do it. My next tip is don't get psyched out during the interview when you do get a hard question that you feel like you may not have answered well. There's many different things that you're being assessed on during the interview day. Um, at the end of the day, you may not answer every question 100% well, but you're being assessed with, with your application, how you did on interview day. So don't get psyched out. You can get psyched out so much that it can like affect it can affect the rest of your interview day. We're just so worried about how you answered a question that you're not doing well on the rest of it. So if you're if you feel like you messed up on a question, just you know keep it moving, stay personable, stay friendly, stay positive. It does not mean that the whole interview is blown. When I did actually my Durham residency interview, there was a question that was asked and I really just fumbled through that question. And um, really the rest of the interview was a blur for me because I was so stressed out about that question. But I did know that once I left the room, I was like, you gotta answer the rest of the questions well. And I made sure that I did. And however, in my head, I still felt like it was like my worst interview ever, but I actually ended up matching at that same institute. So don't get yourself all worked up. Don't bum yourself out or stress yourself out about how you may have answered a specific question and how it could have been wrong. Just keep it moving, stay positive. You never know how someone else interpreted it. And then sometimes in the heat of the moment, you feel like something is way worse than it actually is. My my next tip is do not send out thank you notes if the program specifically says not to. I remember being at certain programs for med school and also for residency where they said, please don't send us an, a thank you, a thank you note, a thank you letter. 
I love those programs because like, <laughs> It was annoying after going through a whole interview day, really, and then having to think about sending a thank you note, especially because like there, you have to personalize it. So it, it's, it's, it takes a lot of work. So I really appreciated those programs. Once they say that, really don't send it. If you send it, it shows that you can't follow instructions, that you don't listen. Like, So if they say, don't send us a thank you letter, don't send it. My last tip, what should, my last tip is, do not lie to a program about how high you're going to rank it. If they ask you what your thoughts are on the program or how, or if you're going to apply to this program number one, even though like technically they shouldn't, but that doesn't mean it's not going to happen. One, if a program really is a program that you are very interested in that and it is your number one, let them know that they're number one. That's fine. However, if a program is really not number one, you can always just say, I'm very interested in this program. You don't need to say this is my favorite program. This is my number one program. It's just gonna look. It's just going to look really bad for you if you say something like that, and then um, they give you an acceptance and you don't go. You know, you because the medical field is really small. You never know where you're gonna end up in the future. You don't want to burn bridges before you even start. It's completely fine to just say I'm very interested in this program without telling them you are my number one program and I'm for sure going to go here if I'm accepted, unless that's true. One more tip, don't ask questions to a program that can easily be found on the website, that can be easily found in the brochures or whatever handouts that they provide you on interview day. Ask a questions that are very thought out, um, and that you could really only get from the interviewer or their medical students. You want to make it look like you are doing research in the program and you're very interested in the program. So guys, those are all of my tips in regards to, to what not to do in an interview. Hopefully between that, my earlier interview for med school interview tips have made you feel very comfortable for your interview process. Let me know if you have any specific questions. Let me know what your favorite tip was in the comments. And if this was helpful, make sure you press that like button. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you know when I'm coming out with new gems. And I hope you have a great rest of your week. I love chatting with you guys as always. And I hope to see you at my next video. Bye.